So here you can see the list of parts for all of the things we're going to be using today. And here's a close-up of the individual cables that we're going to be using in our demo. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to take the Arduino board that we're going to be programming in MATLAB and how to connect up a water pump like this to it. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to start off with the battery because we need a battery in order to power this pump right here. We can't power the pump directly from the board or from USB. So we take a multimeter like this one. We go from the off position to the 20 DC volt position like that. We plug it into these two terminals right here and we either get 9.1 volts in this case or if I switch the terminals around, negative. It doesn't matter. It's going to be 9-ish in absolute terms. That's all we need to know. So voltage in DC. Now we can put the multimeter away because we know that the battery itself is powered properly. If it's not, if it's like 8 volts or 7 volts or 5 volts, then go and recharge it. If it's a rechargeable battery, if it's a DC uh, alkaline battery, then what you need to do is swap it out for a brand new fresh battery from say the dollar store or Amazon or something. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the adapter that comes in your kit with a barrel jack connector on one side to the 9 volt battery. And so I plug it in like this. You can see that uh, it just plugs in like that. It's plugged in. You can't plug it in backwards. You have to plug it in one particular way. And then we're going to take our pump and we're going to just make sure that the pump works. No electronics other than the pump and the battery. And we can plug it in like this, like that. And then if you listen, you'll hear it spinning. And if you're holding it, you'll feel it vibrating. That's fantastic. So we know that the pump is working and the battery works. And then we can take, if we want, we can plug in the outlet on the barbed connector right here to the pump, if we want. Hold on. There we go. We don't need to do this for the experiment, but uh, you might be at the stage where you want to do that. You push it onto the barbed connector and we're good to go. Okay. If your pump doesn't come with this sort of connector, come and see one of the teaching assistants or one of the technicians and uh, or me and we'll talk about what you should do in that case okay so i'm going to put that out over on the side here for right now and next we need to focus on the mosfet board okay so i'm going to open up the bag and i'm left with a cable and a board and i can read what this is about but basically the mosfet board is designed to be a switch a digital, relatively high powered switch. And we're going to interface it with our board using this cable right here, like that. Okay, and we're going to plug it in like so. Okay. And then eventually we're going to plug this into the main board on D2. Okay, so we'll do that later on. But for now, what we need to do is we need to connect up cables to it so that we can have a battery connected on one side and the pump on the other side. All right, so uh, we take our screwdriver, which is in the kit. We push down on the release right here and switch it from the star or Phillips end to the flathead side. Okay, so this is a like a blade kind of side to the screwdriver. Okay, so now what we have is the screw terminals on the MOSFET board here, two sets. We have the output side where it says out and ground, and we have the input side which says plus and minus. So the input side right here is for a battery, and the output right here is for a pump. And if we want, we can actually label it. I can go in here and say pump like that. And on the other side, I'm going to write battery or B-A-T-T, -T, just to be clear. So I did that with a Sharpie. So I have my output there and my battery input there. I'm going to connect up my battery. So my battery, as I showed before, has a barrel jack like this. It mates with this other cable, this one right here, as I've shown right there. So it can mate like that, it can come together, and that's good. So I'm going to put the battery to the side. What I need to do is connect this now to the MOSFET board. 
the black terminal on here, or the black wire corresponds to the same black wire over here. That black wire is the negative terminal on the battery. So it's the zero or negative terminal on the battery, the more negative polarity of the battery. So I want this to connect to the negative terminal. Now, when I use this screw terminal right here, if I run it counterclockwise, it opens up inside. And then when I run it clockwise, it tightens. And then there's a little door in this inside that uh, it's like a little elevator actually, and it will close up and pinch the wire. Okay, and that's what we want. We want to pinch the wire in place. So I'm going to open it up counterclockwise. And I'm going to put it in here. It's a little tricky to hold. So I'm going to hold it like that. And I'm going to go clockwise. I'm going to go clockwise like this. And I can feel some resistance as I do it. There, that feels tight. I'm going to pull on a little tug a little bit. And I notice that it is caught. That's good. Okay, next we want to connect the red to the positive terminal right there. So I'm going to run that in like this. Hold on, let me open it up. So I go counterclockwise to open it up. I don't want the screw to come completely out, but I just want to open it up properly. And then I put it in like that. And now I'm going to run clockwise. Now it's tightened. And tug on it to make sure that it's nice and connected. Okay, so that's good. Next up, I want to make sure that I can connect up my other connector. Okay, so this is going to go to the pump. We'll connect up to the pump. Where did I put the pump? There's the pump. Okay, the pump itself, when it's all connected up, we'll plug in like that. So I take the black end and I'm going to run it into the GND or ground connection on this side. So I'm going to turn this clockwise. Nope, it's already clockwise. Okay, so I'm going to go counterclockwise to open it up. Do it to the other one here. Open that up. Excellent. Now, nope, not quite enough. Open up a little bit more, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Stick the black in there. Go clockwise. Feel some resistance. That's connected like that. Plug it in there. The other terminal. That's plugged in there as well. That's nice and tight, tight on both sides. Now, I'm going to plug in my pump on one side, like that. I'm going to connect up my battery on the other side, like that. I'm going to plug in my Grove connector, like this, like that. Next up, to take this and I'm going to plug it in to the D2 connector. So there's a D2 connector right there. I'm going to take this and line it up. I plug that in. So now I have my MOSFET board connected, 
I have the battery connected, I have the pump connected, and now I'm going to connect with my USB cable right here, my computer, like that. And I'm going to switch over to MATLAB. So in MATLAB, I type in serial port list. I see it's COM4. So I'm going to say my Arduino. If I can type properly. There we go. My Arduino is equal to the Arduino function. I'm going to do, let's see, COM4 for the serial port. And then I'm going to say this is a Nano 3. And I'm going to go enter like that. And it should connect to the Arduino board and we should see some lights appear soon. Right on here. Sometimes it takes a while to do that. Oh, and we're connected. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, turn off the pump just so I have that in place. So I'm going to say uh, write digital pin my Arduino, so that's the object that I'm referring to, and I'm going to be writing to D2. And I want it to be zero or off. Enter. And it's off. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to turn on the pump next and I'm going to use the up arrow to access the off call very quickly afterwards. I don't want it to run for very long without being in water. So I'm going to put it to one right here. I'm going to turn this on. And we can hear it. I'm going to put this up to the mic. You can hear it running. Okay, and you can feel it vibrating. So now I'm going to turn it off. Zero. And it's off. And that's it. The pump is now working. It's now connected to the board using the MOSFET through the digital 2 or D2 pin. That's it. We're now using this switch right here to turn on a powerful motor, which you can't drive directly from the board, through here using a 9-volt battery. So we're amplifying the digital signal through this board to be able to maneuver or, or control an external motor. This is how we do it uh, in engineering. We take digital signals, we amplify them through these MOSFETs, and then we turn on and off a motor. In this case, a motor inside of a pump. All right, thank you everyone.